today we are looking at the catchy os november edition so here you can see these are all the boot menu options you get so i'm running it in the live boot so the catchy os is based on arch linux if you don't know and the country of origin it's from the germany the desktop environment you get is the kde plasma desktop environment and also this is the 12th release in this year from the official website so the booting process will take a bit of time i'm going to mention the time took uh, of the booting process it took almost like a two minutes nearly to the two minutes of the booting process so i know it took way more than the usual timing so in the welcome screen you should be getting the hello version of 0.15.3 and uh, you can install right from here so i'm going to close everything before showing anything let me first show you the pre-installed applications you get from this uh, uh, catchy os so these are all the pre-installed applications most of them are from the KDE Plasma desktop environment and also you don't get any system monitor or anything like that. And also there is some wallpaper change in this specific version and the browser you get is the Catchy OS browser or the Catchy browser. So it's from the uh, Catchy OS. Let me first show you the system settings or the uh, system information and next I'm going to open all the official website and downloading process everything and also the some release notices. So about the system, let me first show you. Let me find the about the system. So here you can see uh, there is no about system, but I'm going to open the terminal and type in all the commands. So these are all the main changes of this uh, specific version. So here you can see I opened all the important tabs. So now I'm going to go through one by one. So here is our about support. So the version of the Firefox you get is uh, 131. 0.3 and uh, the distribution id it's a catchy os and the linux kernel you get is the linux 6.11.7 so i'm going to first show you what version is uh, 6.11.7 so it's a stable version right here so if you don't know what is a stable and what is a long term and everything you can get all the description just clicking on the releases and here you should be getting all the description of the specific linux kernel and about the other things you should be getting the os theme breeze dark advaita and also here is like a some options like a simplify language summarize and uh, quiz me so other things so i'm using 8 gb of ram and disk space available is uh, 10 gb and here is like a picture in picture and browser information if it's important for you you can read everything and about the desktop environment i'm going to show you what version we are using in a minute and the window protocol you are using the x11 and my monitor resolution is 1920 into 1080 which is right here and here is the mesa information which is 24.2.4.0 here is the llvm pipe information and these are all some additional information if anything is important right here you can just pause the video and uh, read everything and about the official website so that was the all the distro and some browser information let me close all the tabs so here is the official website you just need to type in like a catchyos.org it will take you directly to the official website so right now i'm running it as a live boot so there is like a lot of uh, uh, minor hiccups here and there so it's not a smooth experience so this distribution is called like a customizable linux distribution but right now here you can see a major lag so it's not a completely major lag but it, there are like a minor lag it's not a pretty much stable and also you need to understand right now i'm running it as a live boot i didn't install it on the pc or anything like that so it will be uh, the user experience will be completely different and about the specific release just go to the blog and here you should be getting all the information or the changes of the specific november edition so the main things are the nvidia and thp and some other fixes so if you go through one by one you should be getting all the information so this is the 12th release of this year i already mentioned in the beginning featuring performance improvements changes to the partitioning and more so here you can get all the information one by one i'm not going to show you everything because i don't want to make a video lengthy and no one going to watch like a 30 minutes video so that's the reason i'm trying to keep a short video as possible so these are all the main changes you can pause the video and read everything like a main bug fixes and all those things and also chain log handheld uh, handheld edition rog alley x so asus rog alley x uh, support should have been improved so these are all the main changes of this specific version so here you can see everything 
so you can just click on the downloads and you should be getting the iso file so the version should be called like a 24 11 10 so that's the iso file is called as and you can uh, shortly call as like a number edition and here you should be seeing the iso file downloading so always check the iso file whether you are downloading the proper one or not so these are all the information about the system requirements i already said every information about the system requirements in my past videos also because i've been making a lot of videos on the system uh, catchy os uh, from past like uh, a year year and a half i made like almost like a six seven videos or maybe more like that so these are just type in like a catchy os system requirements and you should be good with the information and let me close everything now let's go with the console so i opened and uh, installed the fast fetch so you don't get any installed pre-installed anything here you need to install everything on your own so os is says like a catchy os right now i'm running it on the vmware linux kernel is 6.11.7 which is the uh, long uh, which is the stable version and uptime is almost nine minutes packages 950 pacman shell bash version is 5.2.37 Display is 1920 into 1080 with a 60 hertz. KDE Plasma version you get is a 6.2.3. So this is the latest KDE Plasma version. So if you want some release notes about this specific version, you can find in my community page in my YouTube channel, or else you can just go to the official website of uh, KDE, and you should be getting all the information. So this is the second Linux distribution which are which I'm making on the 6.2.3 KDE Plasma desktop environment. And the window manager, here is all the information. Window theme is a breeze. The themes, the icons, the fonts, and the cursor, the terminal, everything is right in front of you. You can read everything. And the memory is almost like a 3 GB. So that's the thing I'm saying. So it will consume a bit of high resources. Uh, it's not a lightweight Linux distribution. If you have like a 2 GB of RAM, I don't think it's going to properly work. So these are all the resources and here is the swap the disk and local ip and everything so now let's go with the inxi-sv8 the host it says like a catchy os the kernel version is 6.11 and the desktop environment which i already mentioned qt version it says not available i'm going to show you when i scroll it down you should be getting all the information frameworks version you should be getting 6.8.0 and the catchy os based on arch linux and about the machine here is the uh, virtual machine so i'm not going to read that because it's unnecessary for the video so 8 gb ram and the available ram is 7.7 .7, used is 2.72 gb so these are all some other things which is clearly unnecessary for the video my cpu is i5 1240p and other things like a flags vulnerabilities same thing which is unnecessary and about the graphics here we have vmw gfx version is 2.20 and what else we have the display is x11 server x Orch version is 1.21.1.14 with the x vlan version 24.1.4 here is my present monitor resolution these are all the available monitor resolutions opengl is right here now let's go with the audio version here is the elsa the pipe wire version is 1.2.6 and there are some other things like a network bluetooth partitions repos which is clearly unnecessary for the video but if anything is important for you you can just pause video and read everything right in front of you so process 293 uptime is almost 19 minutes and what else we have the init system d version is uh, 256 and shell bash version which i already mentioned inx version is 3.3.36 so let me type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue so it says like a catch os linux about this specific ram consumption type just type in like a inxi and here you should be getting the ram consumption it's consuming like a 2.57 uh, memory 2.57 uh, gb of ram so here is like a uptime and everything so these are all the main important information and about the main changes you can just get it from the official website by going to release notes so here we have the welcome screen about the installation let me show you the installer so here is how the installer looks here is like a blank page and uh, other things you can just click on next and here should be getting the location keyboard partitions 
desktop environment you can change whatever desktop environment you want it's clearly up to you so let me do it again let me open the welcome screen and show you so you don't get any uh, pre-installed applications you just get some basic applications you don't get any like a bunch of uh, bloatware applications or anything like that you just get the simple linux distribution of a catchy os linux so from the catch OS, these are all some added things like a browser and some other things and most of them are from the KDE Plasma itself. So you get the latest KDE Plasma version and about the stable things, everything was working fine. There is like a minor lag. So it's clearly up to you to decide how it's going to perform on your PC. So I don't know how it's going to perform on your PC. So it's better to have some good system requirements and you can run everything properly so this is the installer let me go through one by one so the language selection same thing click on next the location i'm using a web vpn so there will be some different languages choose the uh, location you can choose the drop down menu or you can choose the map right here everything kept as default if you want to customize anything you can customize keyboard it automatically chooses your keyboard if anything is wrong just uh, fix your keyboard here is like a keyboard language and variant if you want to test your keyboard you can test it here you can switch your keyboard click on next the partitions if you want the single partition or the, this is like a single boot or a dual boot options choose wherever you want to install and there is like a, some dual boot options running right now in the internet so it's better to always dual boot instead of uh, dual boot go with the single boot but if you want to go with the dual boot Try to keep both the operating systems in different drives and you should be good with those problems. And if you want to encrypt, you can encrypt. Here are all the options and bootloader location. Click on next. About the desktop environment, you get a bunch of desktop environments. So that's a good thing from the catch OS. You get the plasma if you want the gnome, if you want the XFCE, BSPWM, Budgie, Cinnamon, the Cosmic, which is the latest one. So right now it's still in the alpha version so it's better to stay away from this version if you were trying to trying for the main PC or work PC and if everything is released properly then go with the installation and here is like a i3 window manager hyperland lxde lxqt if you have like a low end PC go with this type of desktop environment which is lxde lxqt openbox xfce this type of desktop environment here is like a mad desktop environment openbox and Quilly, Sway, UK UI. Don't go with the UK UI if you, uh, there will be some issues. Uh, I faced a lot of issues every time I used, but if you didn't have any issues, then go with those uh, type of desktop environment. Here is like a Wayfire. So the, those were all some other things. And about the packages, here are all the packages and other things like a user summary install. Everything is same, is same in every installation. So it's not anything complicated here. So that was the installation and the applications I already showed you all the applications. So other than that you don't get any of the things here and about the system settings everything is uh, default. You don't get a bunch of wallpapers you just get some basic wallpapers just a single wallpaper. If you want to go with the folders open the folders and you can choose a wallpapers here. So it's a single wallpaper but it has like a different sizes so other than that there is nothing change about the file manager you get the dolphin the version you get is 24.08 other than that everything is kept as default game controller display monitor so everything is uh, same i didn't change or uh, do anything so you get the latest kde plasma version and about the specific uh, changes of this release you can read it from the uh, official website itself so those are all the uh, same things and uh, at the end of the video let me show you the logout screen so this is the new type of making uh, of a video from me so because i don't want to make like a 30 minutes or 40 minutes video because no one is watching almost the uh, when i go through one by one uh, clearly no one who is trying to watch those videos but uh, when we make short videos they are allowed to watch those videos so I'm trying to keep a video short as possible. So these are all the a fast run. You can call it like a fast run or a fast review, review or a quick click, quick look, whatever you want to call it. So the Wayland and X11 here are the uh, versions you get. 
and about the password there is no password you just need to click on enter and it's going to uh, log you in so you don't need to provide any password or anything so this is the video uh, of uh, catch os number edition so if you're trying to install you can install there is like a minor lag so it will be completely different in the uh, when you install it on the main pc or work pc or in the bay metal it will be completely different so this is how it performed in the virtual machine so these are all my thoughts these are all the changes like audio graphics and everything so that was some uh, login logout screen password and other than that there is nothing so i'll be posting two videos daily if you want to subscribe you can subscribe if you loved the video you can uh, give the thumbs up button it will help my channel also thanks for watching peace out